Hello, my name is Sherilyn and I'm a music teacher from Malaysia. In this podcast, you will hear me share stories about my teaching career and other stuff that interests me such that I want to share with you. Stay tuned and listen to what's coming next in this episode. Have you ever had a crazy week and wondered where time went? <laughs> and that's what happened to me. The last two weeks is crazy. It's really crazy. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of runarounds and especially for work, for school work. And we finally returned to physical school uh, a few days ago on Thursday. And it was interesting because uh, I get to see m- some of my students for the very first time. And it was quite funny because um, this group of students, uh, they, are, they are the upper primary class. And since this is the first time they have seen me physically, so they actually um, stood up to check my height. <laughs> They were wondering, like, hmm, I think I am as tall as you, Miss Sherilyn, but I was like, uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe another year. <laughs> and especially the taller boys. And the naughtiest in the class happens to be the shortest and the tiniest. No offense to anyone uh, listening in, but um, it was quite funny. <laughs> so, yeah. We had an interesting time uh, for music class and you know because with all these new standard operating procedures, SOP, um, students are not allowed to leave the classroom, not even for their break times. So um, the only time they get to leave their classroom is when they go to another specialist room. So I knew that I have to bring them to the specialist room. If not, they will go extremely crazy (laughs) if they're stuck in the same room the whole day. And I think they appreciate it because they get to walk and get to see uh, some other parts of the new school that they are a part of. Yeah. So those are some of the interesting incidences that happen in school. And probably I will have more stories in weeks to come. And, you know, because of all the walking that I have to do in the for that particular first day, I nearly hit my daily goal. I was looking at my watch furiously and I think by midday, I was close to 4,000 steps. And I was so tired because I didn't think my work shoes are suitable for walking. So I knew that I have to go and get a new pair this weekend, which was like a couple of days, I mean, yeah, on Friday, actually. Yeah. So I I knew I had to get new pairs of shoes because what I have now just doesn't cut it if I had to do so much walking. And it's just nuts because by the time I did my, you know, student drop off duty, uh, which is after school hours for around 40 minutes I have to stand and you know just watching observing uh, trying to recognize parents trying to recognize students it's not an easy job but uh, I hope that you know things will improve from here as we iron out the teething problems that we have since we are a new school so yeah it was nuts 40 hours of sorry 40 minutes <laughs> 40 minutes of, you know, standing there under the mid-afternoon sun, like mid-afternoon, like late afternoon actually. It was like between 3 to 4. But thank goodness that the sun shifted its angle. So by the time that ended, um, yeah, the sun has, it's, it's, a, it's a different angle already. Yeah. Yeah, so those are the few things. And uh, I have just completed my second session for Google Slides workshop with my community of teachers yesterday. And it was interesting also because um, I do have quite a group of teachers of different age groups, some more senior than the most. 
and it was a hands-on session for Google Slides learning. So I, I realized how much these um, workshops really exercise my patience because I do realize that um, teaching um, senior people or more elderly people to use tech is actually more difficult than teaching the younger ones. Yeah. So, and I also <laughs> realized that I have another superpower, which is to actually um, instruct people to use Google Slides or anything on their computer, actually, uh, by memory. So I was able to coach this one particular teacher uh, how to use Google Slides, and everything was by memory because for some reason she just couldn't share her screen. So I have to use all the imagination that I have in my head and of course um, navigate Google Slides from my side. But for most part of it, I was able to you know trace the steps by memory. So it goes to show how much I use Google Slides that I can remember every step by memory. That's that's quite a superpower, I think. <laughs> if if you can, if you agree, please write it in, <laughs> so that I know. Or maybe I'm not the only person who has this uh, ability to remember stuff like that. Yeah. So um, yeah, I, this is my updates for now, and uh, yeah, and just yesterday I was sharing. I did a quick video sharing on this new tool called Remote Mouse. You can find it on all platforms, uh, Windows, iOS, Android. And basically, it allows you to use your mobile devices as a trackpad or virtual mouse. I realized that you know, trackpads are actually a tablet. And I was thinking if I could use my iPad to do that instead. And then, lo and behold, I found Remote Mouse on one of the YouTube videos that I found. And I tried it out. It was not bad. So if you're interested to know uh, about Remote Mouse and how you can use it for presentations, I, I think it's cool. Because I foresee myself walking around the classroom and, you know, having to use slides, use Google Slides to, you know, present. So I think it will be good for me if I could, you know, have a virtual mouse or a trackpad of some sort that I can, that, that can help me move, you know, more easily and freely around the classroom. Yep. So I will also link that video, that tutorial video into the podcast show notes. Yep. So basically this whole week has been about me trying to adjust to a new routine and I hope those routines sticks for a while because it's finally I am able to maintain some sort of stability in my life. <laughs> it hasn't been stable for the well, I think past one year or so so it's nice to, um, to get back into routine. Thank you for joining my adventures and I hope that you have learned something new. Feel free to connect with me on my social media handles, share the music, email me at sharethemusic at gmail.com or visit my website sharethemusic.org. I can't wait to hear from you and see you soon in the next episode.